We're climbing Mount Boche! My name's Amanda, or Mandy Mo, and this is the story of me and my best friend climbing Japan's tallest mountain, Mount Fuji. Or should I say, active volcano? As it erupts every 300 years, and according to the internet, that's any day now, so... Now I have to worry about that too? Are you excited? I'm really scared, actually. What do you, how do you think it's gonna be? Well, see, the last time I tried to climb it, we didn't, we didn't make it. Because of people. Because of the partner you went with. Um, wouldn't let me. Oh. He's not in the life anymore. Anyway, let's begin this two-day climb. We are about an hour away from Fuji. We had to take a detour because I have a small bladder and I chugged the, I chugged a bottle of water thinking it was a good idea and now we're at 7-Eleven. But I got ice cream. But the drive hasn't been too bad. There's been just a lot of traffic. Um, but the weather hasn't started raining yet. So keep our fingers crossed that there's no thunderstorms or no rain because I literally cannot climb it in the rain. I will not. I mean, I will, but I won't. So I have the fear of a volcano blowing up or getting hit by lightning coursing through my body. We made it to the bottom. Now we ride the bus to the fifth station and from there we start our journey. This is what the start of the trail looks like. Um, you can't see anything, like at all. So. And it says it's about four hours to get to the hut where we were staying the night at, and then it'll be a couple hours to the top, but we'll do that in the morning. Hello. Are you ready? What stick did you get? <laughs> I'm, I'm slow at the sighting. There are five trails that get you to the top of the mountain. Last year, I did a trail that left me nearly dangling off the cliffside for the sake of speed. I've learned my lesson. This year, we will be doing the most popular, easiest, yet slowest trail, Yoshida. This trail is riddled with stations, which are resting spots to look at the view or buy stamps. And stamps are burned on emblems you put on your walking stick to signify another achievement unlocked. Oh, it's yeah, looking cool there, mate. Oh, mate, I'm just on a little mountain adventure. Go see all the bobcats. Hey, you little Jake Bias, and I'm over here in the didgeridoo. <laughs> Used that whoa, joke whoa, last whoa, time, whoa. but uh, it's a pretty good one. It's pretty fucking funny. Uh, Didgeridoo is not even a place. I know. You mean the Outback? No, I don't even go to that restaurant. Outback steak. House. Stay. Look at the view. Look Look at the, this is why we came to Fuji. For the immaculate view. For as far as the eye can see. Mm. I can see everything down there. Uh, I can see my house from here. We just started the trail probably about 10, 15 minutes ago. It's been on and off pavement, but we are like, when is the lava rock gonna begin? This. That's when hell will begin. But so far, it's a nice warm up for our legs. Like getting used to the, it has begun. It to station six, I think. There was no sign, but yes. So that's okay. But now our trail looks like this. Our first taste of sun. It is hot. Um, we also don't know if we still made it to station six or not. We just know we're 333 minutes from the summit, which doesn't matter because we're not doing that today. We're doing that tomorrow. So, whoa, but it looks cool. <gasps> Tara, clouds. It's a video. That's fine. We'll pause it. <laughs> what do you have to say to the first sight of clouds? What's up? And we can't really see the top of the mountain anymore. But we've taken off our hat. I've taken off my sweater. <laughs> and she's put on her sweat. Me too, but I'm mine's black, so you can't see it. Uh, how many water bottles did you bring? Two? Two. Only brought one. 
sorry. This way, this way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bye, see you up there. <laughs> so it looks like we go from stop to stop to stop to stop to stop to stop, 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 stop. Like, but I don't know. Confusion. How's your rice ball? Since it's your first time having it. It's the salt. It's like got this buttery salt. I love it. The sun was here for a little while. It's gone again. Another stamp. The sunrise stamp. Except the sun is not rising. to this part but it was like three seconds of climby scariness so it wasn't too bad wait what is it my gopro this is gongo gongo really oh it's right there it's on the seat yeah we're climbing up mordor we're dropping off a ring you may have heard of it the ring of power yeah and i'm leaving because i'm Gollum. another couple stamps down and it's starting to to get where you really start having to climb. We're just gonna fix our leg real quick. We're taking a little break break. Just to fix the leg. And I'm just craving like a nice sweet pork um, bun. Yeah, something sweet. Mm -hmm. Literally cannot believe what we're looking at right now. Like it is just a complete mountain. A mountain, a sea of flipping clouds. The world is down there. We are above the world. Oh God, hello! We have reached possibly another station, but honestly, we've just reached a stamp area. That's what it's become, is every location you get a little stamp. And that means you've made it just a little bit closer to the top. Flyers and pants on fire. For what? It's not cold. It's not bad. Ooh, I hope they have, I hope they have a sweet bread. It's natural chocolate yeast bread. Oh yeah. It's not super chocolatey, but it fits that like, mm. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, Down the mountain it goes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh shit, I should have gotten water. It's too late now. Oh cute! It's a porn boat. And our tank top sweating. It's <laughs> sweating. We're resting at another stamp station. Um, this was my new stamp. It's the dragon. But our view is amazing. Can I slip down another trail? <laughs> oh my god, look at it over there. I can't believe it. We made it to our hotel for the night. Hold on, I'll try to throw up. <laughs> She's being so drama about the smell. So the whole time up here, it has smelled clean and nice. But by the bathrooms, it, it really stinks. Like, I think they just drop. I'm not kidding, I think they just dropped the poop, like, okay. off the cliff. We're inside of our little, like, our li hotel. It's like a little hostel. I guess this would be a hostel. She's taken off her bandages, and we're waiting for dinner. And, of course, there's a window. We are waiting for them to call us for dinner right now. It says... He said it's gonna take three hours to get to the top, so we gotta get up at like one ish to get to the top, and then so it's gonna be completely black. Like obviously the sun's not up yet. It's because we want to watch the sunrise, but um, it's heading to dinner. 
We've been summoned. Rice and curry. Fish, they gave me a sausage, but I ate it. And some of this. I ate all my food. I even ate that fish. It was kind of disgusting, but then it was also kind of like good. We just got done with dinner and it's the sunset. Oh, you can't see it because you're looking at us. I know. It's beautiful. Oh, look, you can see like a little mountain. So tomorrow, we're getting up at midnight to start. It's about three hours up. So we want to be there at sunrise. It's going to be beautiful. So we're looking, we're chilling, and then we're going to go to bed. And pee. And pee. Our three-hour journey to the top wasn't one I wanted to do in complete darkness. With a cliff on one side and lava rock beneath me, it was a path I wished to take in the blaring sunlight. But in order to see the sun rise over the entire country, we needed to struggle through the darkness. We're at another station. We have about four to five stations to go. We started to draw clothes because it is hot. It's not hot, but for us, it is hot, if that makes sense. It was so hot, I'm super nauseous. So, we're resting again. We're at three more. Three more stops, and then we're at the top, and then we can watch the sunrise. I think there actually might be a thunderstorm because the clouds keep lighting up. There's also a huge line of people below us. We're getting a stamp. Mine's the yellow one. Uh, I'm starting to get cold because we're just sitting here. Oh, you're not getting it. It's hot when you're moving, it's cold now. Like it's not cold cold, it's just like, I can feel my sweat, like, if chilling. If you sweating, then we wouldn't feel it. We made it to the top, it's 2.41. It took us, a little less than three hours to get up here. And nothing's open and it's starting to get freezing now that I'm not moving. The sun has continued to rise. People are still rising, and we're here vibing. It's gotten a lot better. The temperature has gotten better, but I don't know if it's because we're posing like everybody else. Look at all these people. Still watching the sunrise, <laughs> continuing to take photos. Oh my god, this lighting is a- why is the lighting this way? Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, you can, there's like, all over there, there's clouds. There's just clouds as far as you could possibly see right now. How would you rank the climb up? Or, <laughs> it was like a six, like a five or six, yeah, it was it. It was okay. <laughs> How was that? Yeah, it's a video. Good. <laughs> Better. We made it. Amanda. It's my dad. Are you filming? There's a lot of gas inside of me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> why, why? Why? I gotta redo the video. <laughs> we have begun our descent down. I'm very, very slow on the down. Tara is Miss Speed McQueen. Miss Lightning McSpeed. But. It's crazy because you can see the path that we walk to get up. That's it, over there. You just hit me with your fucking stick. Yep. Rude. They're going into the fog. I like Coming sped up and back. Then down. I know. This guy zoomed past us, so we picked up our pace. And honestly, it helped a lot. The only marking we made. Where is it?
I don't see anything right now. Oh, we're delusional. Oh, we are almost there. We're 0.9 kilometers away. So, this is the closest we've been to being there. I don't know how she's going to make it. We barely made it. But we're waiting for our only marker we set, which meant we were almost there. And it's a bent pole. The walk so far, it's just been long. It's oh my god. I see it. I see the pit pole. That's our marker right there. Let me see. Let me see you pose in front of it. Our love. <laughs> there it is. I love it. We made it. <sighs> That's the building. And with that, we just climbed Mount Fuji. I am. How exhausted are you? Exhausted? Or now that you see it, you're like, yeah, that was not too bad. No, no, no. <laughs> yes. And with that, we climbed Japan's tallest mountain. Overall, this continues to be the hardest trek I've ever made. As my second time up it, I can confirm it doesn't get easier. But when climbing season comes around again next year, you can find me back on the top of the mountain, enjoying the view, and praying it doesn't erupt. Bye!